my name is Ashley Blanca. Today I will be talking a little bit about how ransomware attacks work. To begin, let's talk about threat vectors and methods of entry that threat actors take to gain access into an environment to deploy ransomware. The three most common ways threat actors gain entry to a victim environment are through phishing, access via RDP, and access through a VPN. Phishing emails will usually contain a link or a malicious attachment that includes the downloader or the ransomware executable itself. Access via RDP is usually accomplished by the threat actor exploiting weak password security or they use brute forcing. And access through a VPN has been a fairly new method in that threat actors will exploit unsecured VPN servers and authenticate that way. Once a threat actor gains access to an environment, deploying the ransomware is the next obvious objective. This is commonly done through a script in which certain files based on file extension are identified for encryption and network storage devices are targeted for ransomware replication throughout the environment. With the overall purpose being to render the environment unrecoverable and increase the likelihood for payment, the threat actor will ensure that all files are encrypted and will often go the extra mile to encrypt or delete volume snapshots, system backups, or volume shadow copies. With that, defense evasion techniques are often accompanied with ransomware attacks, usually in the form of log clearing or using scripts to stop logging altogether. This, of course, is a way to avoid detection. Once the ransomware has been deployed in and the environment is impacted, the threat actor will include a demand for money in the form of cryptocurrency to unlock files within the environment. Oftentimes we see that they will attach deadlines or countdowns via Tor pages for payment. Most recently, we have seen a rise in extortion methods where not only is payment demanded, but they will double down and threaten to release stolen data if the demand is not paid on time or at all. So when we talk about ransomware and why it's so prevalent, it's because it works. The threat actor relies on the human condition for access, which is why techniques like phishing and exploiting unsecured passwords or vulnerabilities are so common. When proper methods of network security are not met, it increases the likelihood of successful entry and in the same vein decreases the ability to recover.